he has done and the many, many things that he has done. Yes, the month of October has been set aside for Clergy Appreciation Month. On our prayer list, we have Bishop and Lady Fowler, Brother Moorhead, Brother Preston Graves, Brother Jerry Faust, Sister Whitney Graves, Sister Doris Gentleman, Sister Annie Clark, Brother Vincent Ryan, Brother Roger P. Throats, Sister Michelle Emo, Brother John Robert Sellers, Sister Latasha Flack, Brother David Flack, Brother Jonathan Flack, Brother John Carlos Miller the Second, Brother Tyler Slade, Dr. and Sister Miller, Brother and Sister McCain, the victims of the Hurricane um, Helen uh, Flood, our President, our Nation, and the Nation of Israel. Continue to remember the many families in bereavement. Continue to pray for uh, Mother Ola Warren's family. Uh, they realized her as foreseen on yesterday. Also remember the Slade family in special prayer. If you would like to make a donation, please, uh, our mailing address is Smyrna Church of Christ, 1025 Minnesota Church Road, Greensville, North Carolina, 27320. If you would like to make a prayer request, please call 336-342-2217. Our order services are as follows. Each Sunday morning from 9.50 a.m. to 1045, we have one of the best Sunday school classes inside of heaven. Today our lesson was salvation in the face of opposition. Each Sunday morning at 11 a.m. morning worship, 7 p.m. on Wednesday nights is our Bible study by way of Zoom. Our announcements are as follows. Each Tuesday at 12 noon is our noonday prayer, and this day has been set aside for our corporate fast day. On Sunday, October the 13th at 3 o'clock p.m., Bishop Fowler and congregation will render service in Waynesboro, South Carolina, with Bishop St. Williams and Saints. Deacon Turner is asking that all of the saints, that in, in honor of clergy appreciation, we're going to honor our pastor on the second and third Sundays. He's asking that you would uh, put something in an envelope, a card, and show Pastor Fowler how much we love and appreciate him in Jesus' name. And on the fourth Sunday, we will be honoring our preachers with a card and love gift of our choice. On Sunday, October the 20th at 11 a.m., Homecoming and Founders Day celebration. Elder Simpson will be charged of the service. Lunch will be served after the morning service. And Bishop Redfern will be our guest speaker. And it's already stated at 3 p.m., Bishop Parks will be in concert here. We would like to say happy October birthday to the following. Sister Mary Bolden on the 5th. Let's give her a hand. Yeah. Brother E.J. Hall, who is in college, on the 11th. Yeah. Brother Juanita King on the 14th. Yeah. And Brother Desmond Fowler on the 14th. Yeah. Are we going to ask Deacon Turner if he would stay in? Yeah. He's already standing. I want you all to help us, uh, help me wish us a happy 45th wedding anniversary. Yeah. Yeah.
share my experience. I've had some situations like things just didn't get better. Jesus. And a lot of times when I prayed like it's just not reaching God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I'm talking about me. But one thing I learned about that in those times when things seem like it's not working is because something in me is not lending to work. Amen. So we can hear our own prayers and our own blessings. We can, we, can, we can hold God back from blessing us because of something in our life that we need some victory over. Jesus. Something in your life you need victory over. That's why sometimes in prayer is not getting through like it should because it's a hindrance. Come well. Fast and pray. Yes. 
So we left out the element of fasting. Mm. That's why it's not getting through. Fasting helps break things through. When you got a clog drain, you gotta get something to get rid of that clog. To get it out of the way so you can get through. Life is like that every now and then. When we're not fasting, we pray, but we're not fasting, things are held up. Daddy prayed. Mm -hmm. And the enemy held up his prayers. Finally, he broke through. Yeah, man. And I come to tell you today, if you pray, mm. try fasting. Yes. As you pray. Mm. And you see God break through. Yes. Your situation. Acts 1, as they spoke unto the people, the priests, and the captain of the temple, and the Sadducees came upon them, the priests. And the office of priests in the Old Testament began with Abel, and with his son and Leviticus 8. They began the human into mingling between God and sinful humanity, the priests. They were characterized as three qualifications. They were chosen and set apart for priestly service by God. Mm. They were to build, they were to be holy in character and they were only one allowed to come near to God. Mm. The priest. On behalf of the people of the high priest present, being the chief go between on a day of atonement. Leviticus 16, 16 and 5, the captain of the temple. So they had a, a problem here. Men were standing in the way of prayer. Mm. Sometimes folk can hear your prayer. Amen. He said, nobody can yes. Because they will sometimes folk will cause you to feel like you're not praying right. Mm. Or you're not living right. Jesus. That's why your prayer's not working. Mm. Else if you do this, do that, it'll work. Mm. But sometimes God wants you. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. To get the things out of your way. That's in your way. Somebody can go out and thank you for I know I pray sometimes. They send me my prayer just like I was not working. Maybe you never experienced that situation. Maybe you've been like Brother Frank, everything goes your way, Amen. but not my way. Amen. What do you do when the prayer doesn't work? Mm. It seems like nothing is happening in your life. Now Luke gives the extensive amount here about the rest and trial of Peter and John. Did their prayer. As he does later with Paul to demonstrate that Christians is not a le legitimate set, even though to continue attacks. We see here. So you, you deal with book, Acts 1, you go on, you found prayer many times did not work. Mm. What we're trying to stop is the fact that every time you pray, that's going to mean it's going to come out like you think. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you pray and pray and pray and seem like things just does not change. Amen. Mm. What do you do? You fast. Yeah, man. You ask God, the Lord, what am I doing wrong? Mm. What, what do I need to do to fix this situation? Yeah. And, and, and we, as we grow in God, saints, and we begin to grow and understand what God is trying to tell us. Why is my prayer not working? Mm. What causes my prayer to be hindered? Yes. And then you should ask the question, is it me standing in your way, God? Amen. Sometimes God will block your prayer as it called to teach you a lesson. Lord, have mercy. Sometimes God got to show us you got to grow up. Everything you pray for, you just ain't going to get. Amen. That's right. Amen. 
If you give a child everything to ask for, they won't give a small bread. Mm. That's why some saints, they think every time they pray, God says, it's going to manifest. That's the truth. That's the truth. Sometimes God wants you to go through a healing process. Jesus. Sometimes God wants you to suffer a little bit. Jesus. So you appreciate the good things and the ill things. Yes. So you appreciate what God is doing in your life. Did you appreciate that God has been healing you all these years? Did you appreciate that God has been down and eating? You appreciate the folks who are trying to bring you down. God has always been to pick you up. See, people don't come to the priest like here, and they don't come to the preacher and think they're bad. But they get real bad, they want to talk to the preacher. Those things are not so bad, they try to fight and work with you. That's right. But then like when you get sick, you wait to get bad and it's hard to fix it. Mm. But if you catch it before it gets bad, you can get rid of it. Somebody could go out and pray. That's why I take my shots. Yeah. Get my flu shots and think of them that's going to help them before I get the flu. Mm-hmm. Or in the morning, whatever. Mm-hmm. So I asked my doctor, I said, well, do I need pneumonia? He said, no, you need maybe with the once, once in a lifetime. You don't need it all the time. I didn't know that. But the flu shot, she said, you need to get it every season. But most of the time, we are, we are waiting to be sick, cold, and sneezing. Can't all get around. And then we go to the doctor. Then we take more time to fix it. But if you go to God before the problem gets worse, then God will fix it. Jesus. He can fix it, but he won't let you go through that. When you pray and pray that work. Mm. I've been there, saints. I prayed and I prayed and like it just nothing happened. But when I just decided to leave it with the Lord and go about my business, thing before I knew it, God had fixed the problem. You might have been there saying you just left the Lord. He just put it in the hands of the Lord and said, Lord, you fix it. And God will turn around and turn that thing around and show them all right. You're praying for them. The more you pray, like the worst thing get, and you're scared at night and the fall rain or something going down. There's something happening to them, you know. Yeah, and maybe I don't get that such a call, but say that you get that call, it's what's going on. Well, uh, there's nothing going on, just call check on it. Yeah. You feel so much better. But those late night calls, I'll tell you, you get worried about your saints. How uh, not all the time so bad, but sometimes you want to call and talk. Mm. Hallelujah. But I tell you one thing, you can tell time in prayer, sometimes you just not get to God. See. But that's when I begin to say, Lord, what am I doing wrong? Yeah. Lord, I need, I need more faith. Lord, I need more no patience to wait on you. But I begin to begin to read the Bible and begin to read about different people going through these situations. And I begin to show God, I begin to show me in the text. How he did made in this situation. Peter and Cesar, Peter and him, bring it all, up, all night long. And, and they love the jail. So they prayed and they prayed and the church were praying. Yeah. And God found out that some of them were to shake the person they don't lose. Some of them got to shake things up in their life yeah. and make things right. And every time you pray for God and fix 
next day, the devil is listening and to somebody else. Well, you know, maybe my own, you know what I'm supposed to be about. But they're trying to tell you, maybe it's not God. They're trying to view your mind when you know it's God. Then you begin to doubt God. When you say to him, it's not time, you got a whole thing. Don't always give information. Where are God that's in this prayer for That's all you got to say. But sometimes we get too much information. And sometimes we don't always see you for that. Yes, I know I'm telling the truth. Oh, God. Even sometimes your brothers and sisters don't want to see you bless. Sometimes they look at I got that members, and you know, they think you got too much. They don't know you got too much because you got bills. There ain't nothing free in this world. If you got a big house, you got a big payment. If you got a big car, you got a big payment. Yeah. Hallelujah. Whatever you got, you got to pay for. Ain't nothing free. You got to pay for that stuff. Don't be telling somebody about the other guy because they got a big money bill, they got a big phone bill, they got a big gas bill, they got all these big bills, no big tax bills, and everything else. Every word of us says that you take your problem out of you to have. Maybe you don't have a job, but every time they look around, they broke. Why? Because they got these big bills. But thank God you got money in the pocket. Look at it. Yeah, man. And you ain't got to work four or five jobs to make that house go. Come on. You got to thank God, Chase. Amen. Thank God for where you are. Thank God for how good you are. No, you can get to work, get back home. You're not breaking down. I see new car break down the side of the road. I see brand new truck break down the side of the road. I see brand new car down the side of the road. Mercedes Benz, Cadillac, they are flat tired. They're on the side of the road. And you know how the people are all riding on my block because God has blessed them to God. God bless them with a man in my hand. I may not have much more of a blessing. But all the more than all. And I have a few dollars of all. Make me straight to the end of the day. I see time to all make me straight. I've got a man that more than that. God can fix them well because he's more than praying for the right things. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Sometimes your prayers, sometimes it's not working. Jesus. God will give me. You pray about yourself and it still ain't not you. Jesus. You go on for months, weeks, and still suffer. God, when you will deliver this thorn in my flesh. The ball has been, he said, my grace is sufficient. He's giving you grace in your suffering. He said, my grace, not your grace. Mm. His grace mm. is sufficient. Yeah. When I'm going through, brothers and sisters, I said, God, give me strength. Mm. And make it through. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you get up in the morning, your foot the like right, your leg the like right. I said, what's going on? I felt good last night when I was in bed. This is, and you got to kick it, try to shake it up, wake it up, whatever. Maybe I don't have a problem. Keep on living. Sometimes your hand, like it don't want to act like you can't hardly close your fist. Jesus. You always can grab it, go out and turn something and grab it, open and turn. And what's going on? See what I'm talking about. Don't you live in this life. It's a different change. It's going to be a different situation. But I got the same God in every situation. He can bring me to that time. It might not be instant. It might be weeks, it might be months. But one thing about God will all one time I hurt so bad and I hit and the hip kept bothering. I kept on moving. One day I looked at him. The devil paid no more. I don't let it left and it left. So I give up. I thank the Lord. I thank you. I don't let really it left when I pray to God. Something right under the church now. I don't feel the best of God before the service over. I still feel it pretty nice. Tell me about the You come in one way, but you leave another. You come in with problems. You come in with you leave another. Come on. Peter, 
One said that they spoke unto the people, the priests, the captain of the temple. Sadducees come upon them, being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Jesus Christ's resurrection from the dead. Jesus. They thought they were doing something good. They preached the word. They excited about preaching the word. Mm. They had, they about to get locked up for doing what God called them to do. Amen. God called these brothers. Yeah. He chose these brothers. And you have asked that question saying, you have saved saying, why are you going through so much? Mm. True. It looked like everybody around you going through with no problems at all. Jesus. These brothers here were doing good. And then you get locked out for doing good. You got problems and going to a job and you're struggling to make it. And here's somebody smoking dope, doing everything crazy, and they just making money. Mm. Everything you want to look like we don't fool yourself. Amen. Amen. Being green. That they taught the people and preached through Jesus Christ's resurrection from the dead. And they laid hands on them and put them in hope until. The next day for it was not even time. Jesus. They, 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 at night, they want to get this thing before nightfall. Mm. See, in parts of the world, if you ever go to Europe, the sun sets early over there and it rises early the next morning. Now at 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock, it may be dark. And at 3 o'clock in the morning, it'll be daylight. Mm. I woke up one day, it was daylight, I said, what time is it? Everybody had to talk, look at the clock at 3 o'clock in the morning, and the sun was straight up. Mm. That blew my mind, because I'd never seen anything like that before. Mm -hmm. It was daylight. Bright. Jeez. In the winter time, at 3 o'clock in the evening, it's black. It's dark at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And at 3 o'clock in the morning, it's daylight. And it's short days. Mm. So, they had to get this thing done before it turned off. Mm -hmm. So, if you want things to be bright in your life, do things before it happens. Glory to God. That's the truth. Don't wait till you're sitting you die. You start praying and I say, God, I believe you're going to work this thing out. Mm. Yeah. I was... Money got low, and I was talking to the, the guy that does my lawn, fertilizer, seed, my lawn, and all that stuff. And I was telling him, and he called me out. And I said, well, they've down the street, he's using a servant. He saw my yard, and he started using a servant. He said, well, I don't. He said, well, we usually give people a little donation for it. I said, look, sir, I said, I don't even know the man. I said, he, he saw my yard, he used the same color. So I went to the mailbox one day, and guess what? Here's a check. From the same God. You don't have to lie mm -hmm. and say you did something you didn't. Mm -hmm. But you just be truthful. God will bless you. Yeah. It's not a good crowd praying. A lot of times you have to figure out a way to get things to work. You don't have to just be truthful. Amen. See, that's where God works. Sometimes God will change your heart. See how far you will go. Mm. You know, uh, Brother Pee Wee can tell you the same thing. Sometimes when you sell a car, sometimes you. It's not like the whole month about to go out, you ain't make no money. Maybe he had that problem. I had that problem. And I, I used to go in the bathroom and say, Lord, look here now. The end of the month is here. And I, I ain't got no money. I ain't broke. I'll go to the bathroom and just talk to the Lord just like that. Jeez. I come out before you know it. I make my whole month in one day. Mm. God is a God that is faithful. He'll yeah. show up when it's needed. Sometimes he'll show up when you want, but he's always on time. Just before the bills go through, God will show up. In my bill of salvation, we can come to your land. We can give you no more with the land is coming on. The food is short. The gas is short. We pay the land bill. But look around. Somebody call and say, come on, I got some for you. Everybody give God a bill. Every time I look around, I can go to the beach and sing. God is all.
He's going to be in trouble. If they was in trouble here, yes. how be many of them which heard the word believe? And none of men were about 5,000. Oh, I tell you, man, if I can preach to get 500, I'll be happy. All right. But these brothers got 5,000. Well, I'll I, I, I probably go down to 50. If I can get 50 saved, I'll be happy. No, I'll bring down to 5. Mm. I'll be happy. But these brothers had 5,000 souls got saved on one message, and that devil was dead. I know they clothes, it, 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 I know they cleared out all the clothes and liquor halls, liquor houses, prostitute houses. I mean, it's everybody that left the walls on the street. It's a victim of broken clothes. We're trying to buy no liquor. We're trying to buy the liquor. Doing all kinds of crazy stuff. This day to day, they get just about broke the city. We got to stop these men. People are not spending money. You guys are in Greensboro and Reedsville. The liquor stores are shut out. The cigarette place got shut out. And, 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 and up the club had to shut out. And, and all the places shut out. Because he preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. Don't you want to be out there all of a sudden trying to lock him up? He just shut everything down and read over. And green girl, nobody buys nothing. How much money they going to sell us in here? The club came to shut out. He mad. Everybody mad. Because he'll shut everything down. See the gospel of Jesus Christ. So that's why I was mad. You mess with our money. We broke. Mm -hmm. We can't sell our cake. Nothing but a buy. So what they did, we got to get the church involved in this. We don't get the preachers involved in this. We would give them money. We get them rabbis and priests together and we get this thing. We get locked up. Sometimes they call wicked preachers and we get this and we get that and work for them. Mm -hmm. And that's what they did here. Got locked up. Jesus. Because of the priest of God. We got 5,000 souls saved. Jesus. You can't even pack 5,000 for whatever reason. Not 5,000 souls in one building. I don't think they school the football team on 5,000 of The stadium. I don't think they're in Greenville. You can find many places on 5,000. That's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Biggest church in Greenville can't hold 5,000. Get a building to call the city. That's right. But you think about that gospel. Five thousand souls because they was persecuted. They were mistreated. And then they got to the point they were locked up. And and, and as the high priest and Caiaphas and John Alexander was as many as were the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked them about what power Oh, about what name have you done this? Yes. Now we want to know what power, what name. You imagine if other something like that preached one thing and all these people came? Mm -hmm. He'd be mad preachers, he'd be mad er, police, everybody be mad. Mm -hmm. And when they had set them in the midst, they had, about what power? Oh, by what name have you done this? Then Peter filled with the Holy Ghost. What was he filled with? The Holy, Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. That's why the devil fights you so hard. Mm -hmm. He tried to end your prayers. That's right. Because he was filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm. You made a difference Jesus. in these folks' five thousand lives. You made a difference in these people. When you start making a difference in people, you can see God work. And to the spirit of the church, we make a difference with people, you can see the power of God. Jesus. You have to pray to make a difference in your neighbors and your friends. And when you make a difference, don't be don't be you, you, you use the Holy Ghost to make that difference. Amen. And Say unto them, ye rulers of the people and the elders of Israel, if we be examined of the great the good deeds done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you and to all the people of Israel, by that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 
whom you crucify. Yeah. Talking about a dead man. Mm-hmm. They were talking about a live man. Mm-hmm. By a dead man, whom God raised from the dead, that he's alive. Mm-hmm. Even by him, do these men, this man stand before you home. We ain't taking no credit. Amen. We are not taking any credit for what you see. We didn't have no power, mm. we had no strength, we didn't have any this. It was done by the Holy Spirit. Jeez. Well, Elder Simpson, he was the one who spoke the word. Elder Simpson got power. Mm. See what happened when he prayed? Mm. And you see him come all over the country Jesus. trying to get Elder Simpson because he prayed and 85,000 got saved. TV, radio, coming all over. We will share this man, YouTube, and all the other channels. Here's a man to say, if I have one message, ready to read the agreement, we want to just interview you. See what, what happened. This is the stone which was set in law of you building, which has become the head of the phone. Neither there is salvation in any other. That's right. For there is none other name on the heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Mm, man. That was the key. He used the name. Yeah. That's why I can't understand how outside people can leave Jesus. the name and decide to go to three God holiness mm. or three God name. And 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 the thing about it is Father, Son, Holy Ghost are not names. Amen. Not name, that's not a name of a person. <laughs> they are talents. Yes. And anytime you leave this and go to that, you deny the name. You deny his name. Jesus. And my wife needs me and, 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 and needs my name to get another name. That means. She don't want my name anymore. Mm-hmm. She wants my else's name. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm not good enough for her anymore. She wants somebody else. Mm-hmm. I choose Johnny over here because I want his name. And then when you marry Johnny, you take on his what? Name. That's right. Right? Amen. You take them. And I don't know if you just think about it. They're going to keep their main name, but they have it. What do they call that? Hyphen. But a lot of couples don't accept hyphen. Right. They want to birth certificate. What is your original name? Mm-hmm. So anytime you need God and take him another name, that means you don't want his name anymore. Jesus. Or you're a preacher, a missionary, or whatever you call yourself. Mm-hmm. He says here, neither is there salvation in any other. Is it enough? He's no other. For there is none other name on the what? Yes. Heaven. Give them on men, or well, we must be saved. So, saved, when you walk away from this, you don't walk away from spirit. Mm. You walk away from God. Oh, have mercy. You're the boss of the hill. Jesus. So, you're not good enough. Mm. I don't love you enough. To keep your name. Yeah. That's what he's saying. Jesus. Y'all see that right there? Amen. And that's why your prayer is not for you. Because you love the name. Peter, you. I said, Peter said, Lord, I'm not going to leave you out. I'm going to go. Where are we going to? I'm going to be with you. No, I'm not going anywhere. Jesus. He didn't die. He was crucified upside down. Mm-hmm. All 12 disciples died for that name. Jesus. Putting all the kept the Lord. Yes. Lions and arenas and dogs and lions. Destroyed their lives. But they said, I'll hold on to that name. Glory to God. And they were dying. They were looking for him. And the Father God said, Lord, 
receive it with your spirit. Yeah. I'm not giving up your name. I might die, but I know I got a better place. Somebody give God a prayer. I'm going to go. I'm respecting your name. I'm going to go like it. Jesus Christ is my Lord. And no other name given among men than I. I got to be saved. Has to have a name. 
these guys should have changed the name to X and P to Y. It don't make no difference. On their birth certificate, they got a name. Amen. If you could blame with your soul, as the preachers come, we all will give death a run for his money, but death will catch us one day.
hands right out of control. The Lord is touching you right now. Lord brought my blood pressure down to the normal 130 or 65 and 60. Everything's falling out wild. Because I pray. And I want all the bold people, I don't mind if you got a problem with your liver and your children. I want you to walk around this wall. Nobody got to touch you. I want you to walk. You're going to get all the insulins and shots and all that kind of stuff out of the your body. This is Miracle Sunday. Somebody get out of praise. Miracle Sunday. In my Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, this is your week. You want to stop talking. You keep on. Just keep on. It's not all that. You don't have to be praying, but just keep on. God will heal you as you fall. God will heal you as you fall. Hallelujah, God can touch your body as body as you fall. Jesus name. And she hey! I feel a miracle in this house. Hallelujah. I feel a miracle right now. If you got two of us, whatever you got today is the other Sunday. You got sweat in your joints. Jesus. In your knees and your ankles. You need to walk. God will heal your ankles and your knees and your flu your life. This is healing Sunday Center. I'm not going to be appreciated with God. What do you do with your prayer without asking? You act upon it. You do something. Amen. Doing something in your faith. Yes. Yes. Lord, God, I know it's so different than that okay. That's how I hear it all. God is good with it. Yes. God is such a body.
about it. So we're going to write us another. We can check it going to be around 150. It's a drop. I see it in the spirit. It's a drop. It's a drop down the wall. But God don't move that pattern when you don't know you get sick. If you drop too fast, you get sick. Let that person drop too fast, you get sick, you just go drop. Somebody, somebody get gained
big time. That gives it back to you. Yeah. And I love the Lord. Why? Because he says, keep hope blessing me. Amen. Yes. Life of money. For help. Deep Strength. Body. Yeah. Sound of mind. Glory to God. So the king, I'm praying for this morning. It's all that fall. She got to drive that red ball. I made plows in it. And then the wife began to pray. We prayed for the other ones. And we pray that we bring this king in your hand. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. Check to the church, they don't pay time. But I pay my time. 